Top 5 Baby Swaddling Mistakes You Want to Avoid Swaddling has been proven beneficial not just to the newborn babies but also to the parents. This practice makes babies calmer and well-behaved, requiring less attention, hence parents or babysitters do not freak out and get stressed. It makes the whole parenting process smooth especially to first-timers. Are you a new mommy eager to swaddle your child but is in need of guidance on how to do swaddling correctly? Below are a few of the swaddling mistakes some parents commit so you can avoid them. Do not wrap your babies in a blanket twice. In other words, just use only one swaddle blanket and not two. Doubling the blanket induces more heat that can be dangerous to your newborn's body. Overheating specifically has been associated with the sudden infant death syndrome. Look for signs such as excessive sweating or wet hair. Fortunately, there are swaddle blankets today specifically made to be comfortable and safe. Do not use loose or too tight swaddle blankets. Otherwise the blanket can strangle your newborn or can cause hip problems. A loose or tight blanket will also defeat the purpose of swaddling as it does not take hold of your child securely but comfortably. So make sure that you find one that fits your baby's size perfectly. You can do so by getting your baby's measurement first before buying one. Do not put your baby's hands on the sides. Doing this does not only restrict the newborn's movement but can also result in painful joints. So that your babies feel well protected and comfortable, put their hands over their heart. This makes them feel in control of the situation, thus making them calmer and well behaved. Do not allow the babies to sleep on their tummy. This position does not only restrict their air intake but also induces overheating. You have to position the babies comfortably, making sure that they get good air circulation. Sleeping on their tummy can result in bad posture so make sure that they are lying down on their back. You don't want your baby to develop a hunchback posture. Do not swaddle your babies when they start rolling. Babies naturally reach that stage where they like to roll or crawl. These are big movements already so their hands must be free at all times. Swaddling may not be good at this stage as the blanket may strangle them since they know how to move big and wide. They might even know how to remove the swaddle blanket already. Most parents stop swaddling when their child reaches 5 or 6 months to give way to other motor developments. Do not swaddle them the whole day. Your babies need to develop other skills too so give them freedom to roam around their crib or bed any time of the day. Let them feel their surroundings and observe how they can use their body. As their mum, you can always adjust to your baby's needs. If you see them not happy with the swaddle blanket then don't force them right there and then. Do it in phases, slowly but surely. Again, swaddling can be beneficial if done correctly.